Holy. That was a nice dodge right there. Holy, that did a lot of damage. Oh. The insta. What is up, everybody? In today's video, we're going to be no-hitting Elden Ring using the Moon Veil. The Moon Veil is one of the most popular weapons in Elden Ring, mainly due to its Ash of War transient moonlight, which is basically an unsheath on steroids. This weapon is a katana that's obtained after killing the Magma Worm located in the Gale Tunnel in Kaled. A lot of you who are watching these videos are not subscribed, so if you enjoy this type of content, it would be greatly appreciated if you would consider doing so. But for now, sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy the run. That chest, dude. So, so you you guys might notice that we're doing the Draconic Sentinel like super early, and it's because we're replacing the, the Knight's Cavalry with the Draconic Sentinel since we have that great cheese now. Where you just knock him off the cliff. So we'll do one run through just to see how it does. And then we'll just get the run after that, hopefully. So yeah, the first step will be to, we'll do the normal opening. We'll get out, uh, we'll get Warrior Jar. And then we'll just go and kill the Magma Worm, I guess. Yo, Zyox, thanks for the this is going too far. five month prime sub. Machino hype, God run three. Yeah, God run three. It's not happening. Hello? I'm not doing it. There's no way. Can you hear me? Oh, I it's not happening, dude. Can I do this? Huh? How could this? Not quite enough. I think running through here without Gambit should be fine. All right, here we go. Oh, what the hell? The vacuum? Not sure how many hits I can do there. Yeah, this this guy doesn't uh, go into the stance mode. Holy fuck. That was a nice dodge right there. Magma. I mean, that wasn't too bad, right? Uh, let's go this way first because I don't... It would be better for me to go through Caleb when it's actually not nighttime. Yeah, no hit run... Uh, or no hit all achievement should be possible and I'm going to do it. Fairly soon. I'm still gonna get I'm still gonna get the charge attack stuff because it applies to every single weapon. Although, you know, it won't be as strong with this setup. Yeah, consumables is actually a run that I might not do during these 40 because that's a run I had planned for a long time. Because if I'm all these runs that we're doing during these 40, I'm kinda I'm trying to do them quickly because I wanna get them all done in time. Oh, <laughs> but I don't want to rush consumables, so I might not do that one for this challenge, and then we'll do it after. But we'll see how much time we have. Oh, I didn't get the Beast Torch. Oh, so I definitely should have gone the other way first then. One of the few situations where Grave Tender can actually be just a trivial fight. ES1, I've done a couple runs in. I did SL1 no hit, which is at least something. It'd be kind of funny if I went the rest of the season without losing. 
and then Fry was the only one who beat me. Took away the undefeated season. Oh. Shoot. Okay. Um. Messed up. It's okay, though. As long as I don't get sniped by this rune bear. We're kind of taking the long way here, but that's okay. Maybe we actually somehow get this first try. I don't know. Probably unlikely, but maybe. It's knock off the uh, Draconic Sentinel. It's easiest with something that, that poise breaks him into. It's, we could use Flame of the Red Mains, but obviously I would still have to go back to round table for that. How much poise damage does the torch do? Okay, so let's go here. I really hope we have enough runes for this. Yeah, much easier than the... Um Nice cavalry cheese, and then also, like, we have to kill that guy anyway, so. So it's 23 and 18. We already have enough for 18. See, this is all the work we've done on, on that regalia run. It's all coming in very useful here. So I, I don't really know how this is going to work on this guy, though. Kind of the one issue. Holy, that did a lot of damage. Is this what... Oh, now it's not, because he's put on his buff. This is a bit unfortunate. I don't really know. Is there a better way to fight this guy with this weapon? Wait for him to buff, I guess. An enigma. Okay, I should have bought I should have bought a quick stepping weapon when I came here earlier. So let's go to Volcano. Oh yeah, it's definitely we're gonna be using that Ash of War a lot for sure. The buff he put on himself there was a I believe that was Erd Tree Protection, which is a huge magic um I think it's all elemental damage, but it wouldn't have been that effective for me to just try to blast him. Yeah, that's yeah, that's something that it'd be hill probably, probably something like that. Okay, so now now we go to round table, and we can get golden vow and the rest of the stuff. Exactly as as that's what's so cool about the Elden Ring request is that almost every single weapon we can use. And we don't have to cheat it in. And I, I much prefer doing these runs when I don't have to cheat it in. Because then you get to see if a weapon's actually viable or not. I think hitting 8... Wait, let me just check. So hitting 18 decks is probably a good idea. So that I can go with maybe this one. And still wield the weapon. And then we'll just pump some faith, I guess. So another magic damage weapon. Against Loretta. It's not ideal. What? What is that scam right there?
What a scam. Oh, oh it's because of the two hit L2, you're right. I kind of didn't think about that. Katanas are definitely cool. They did them justice in this game. In Dark Souls 3, katanas are pretty average, I would say. Like, nothing, nothing special. But in this game, they're cool. Oh, man. Don't do this for, like, one day and already horrible. Here we go. Oh. Building up really quickly. I don't think I need anything else. Oh, oh. I do, though. This route is really good, man. This route is great. Let's go on hollow. Decent amount of damage. Let's say. Definitely a little bit stronger than the regalia. Jacked out this decent damage. Yeah, this thing is definitely quite a bit better than the regalia, dude. Also got the bleed on it. Actually, you know what? This run, it makes more sense to do Gillica so that I can... I don't die to Gillica again. I've died to her before. Oh, I should have leveled up some faith. Shit. I totally forgot. It's fine. I don't have enough for flame grand strength here. Although flame grand strength really doesn't it almost does nothing with this weapon. It does it you know, most of this damage is magic. It's probably not even worth getting on a moonveil run, but it does boost our damage a little bit. The stars have aligned. How's magic against Redan? Is it decent? Weapon art spam didn't actually seem that good there. Um, 
Is there any reason to get dex too? Like some sort of spread? Maybe at a certain point getting dex is better, but... Again, flame grant strength won't really do very much here, but... I definitely, I 100% think that getting the magic tier would be worth it on a Moonveil route. I just, I don't know if I want to. It's just, it, the problem is that it's kind of far out of the way. It's the Avatar um, in Eastern Liurnia. So it's it's a pretty big trek to get to him. Yeah, I might be able to get this first try. We'll see. This was more meant to be a routing run here, but... Oh, whoops, <laughs> I totally forgot to put on the Dara Shard there. I was wondering why the damage didn't look so great. Yeah, we don't really have a Morgoth kill, so let's see what happens. too much damage there. pretty good. Yeah, for Godskin Duo, I guess I'll probably just spam Weapon Art at them. I assume that'll just work. Yeah, this this is sort of routing, but it's routing, but we also just haven't gotten hit yet. So. Oh. This definitely wouldn't be the first time getting run while routing, but it would be the first time in Elden Ring if we manage to do this here. What is that in the distance there? Is that like mountains or something? Never noticed that. Oh, it's just the clouds. Oh. It looks kind of weird. Of course, I forgot to reallocate. stuff. Even just the R1s are pretty good. I shouldn't have drank there. It's kind of dumb. can't hit his eye. That's pretty funny. I, I guess I should use the horizontal one. Yeah, Moonvale has bleed.
not going so well. <laughs> Great. I'm gonna get to a little bit of mind as well. I like that. So, uh, yeah, I already knew how to fight the Magworm. Magma. Magma Worm and the Enigma of Bernal. The Magma Enigma. So I'll just spam Weapon Art here, I think. Just see what happens. I assume, like, this should be. Probably. Ooh. Yikes, that's really bad. What the hell? What is wrong with this thing? This weapon's trash, man. It's hot garbage, dude. Jesus, that's actually, like, really weak. Yeah, the R1s are, are actually, like, really solid, but, like, for the setup that we actually have right now, the spamming R1 is kind of the play. Uh, which one? The screenshot of the... His reply to my tweak, or is it better? Yeah, that was not real. No, no Miyazaki screenshot is real. <laughs> and I'm always surprised at how many people, like, get fooled by it somehow. The, the one that where he blocked me is definitely a little bit harder to tell. The, the most recent one I posted, I thought was very obvious that that was not real. But, um, I actually don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> not really sure what the openings are going to be here or not. Or, or yeah. Mm. Little, I don't know. Not have it I get hit here. I'm just gonna roll back on this one. Oh, 
Yeah, I don't know if that jump attack is fast enough there. It feels like it's not. What? Oh my god. Did not mean to do that. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure if that jump attack on the double swipe is fast enough or not. It seemed very borderline, but he didn't uh he didn't do it. So I uh, hear he didn't do the, the quick swipe follow-up. And then the second time I just didn't bother punishing. So yeah, I'm not really sure how these procs will work with base arcane. But Opai said I think it's fine, so. But see, turning the game into not just a scripted fight fest is is the best way to get these runs on the first try, right? If I actually just know how to fight the bosses and I don't, even if I don't have optimal setups or anything, if I can just no hit them and fight them properly, then yeah, we'll get a bunch of runs first try. It's only if if I'm starting to, if I only knew the super Serpent Hunter route and then I come into this, then I would not be able to get these runs first try at all. Proxim. Nice. So I guess it's the next proc that takes two to poison him. Uh, probably not, Nick. I don't think so. Hmm. I was in a really bad spot.
Um, for the opening, I guess I can probably do a weapon art plus an R1 or something. I, we should probably, it, it's just, I, I don't know all the punishes, but where I can fit in weapon arts, but I would imagine we should be able to pretty easily skip phase two. This. Probably. Oh, two horizontal? Okay. Cool. Too late. <laughs> That's pretty good damage, though. Holy shit. Holy damage, dude. Melting him. Oh, oops, uh-oh, it's not ideal. Oh god, this is so bad. Wow, this is really bad. <laughs> this is so bad. I'd have to deal with a lot of stuff here. Also, I should have went for that. I don't know why I didn't. that too early. There we go. Look at that. First try. First try, no warm up, dude. Actual first try. That's not bad. Again, 206. I think that was the exact same time as the regalia run. Like, literally, exact same, which is expected considering I used the exact same route. Except we had to kill the magworm at the start, I guess. Actual first, I like, I was planning on just routing right there, but yeah, GG.